Good afternoon, everybody. How are you? Um, hope you're doing well. Uh, I don't know why I look so dark. <laughs> That's weird. Anyway, um, I, uh, I'm just going to hang out for, for a few here and play uh, some games for Affable Accordios. Um, the first of which is Jurassic Park Genesis. Uh, Apple gave me my pick of just kind of like old games that amuse me, and um, this is one of them. So uh, I'm gonna do a little of this, and then a little King Arthur's World, which is a classic that I'm pretty sure nobody knows anything about, um, except for me. I played like hundreds of hours of it. Um, and then I'm gonna try to play Ace Combat 4, although um, I have to emulate it, and I just tried to open the thing that I downloaded and it, it said it was corrupt and it didn't work. So that may or may not happen for Cord today. Sorry, Cord, if you're watching. Um, I may have to delay that. Uh, it doesn't seem to work. Also, every time I click this thing, it resizes. It's fine. Um, okay. Surprisingly hungover, celebrating the end of my degree. Uh, congrats again, Lunar. Um, I'm doing fine. I actually uh, just did a lot of exercise a minute ago. Um, surprisingly, you know, uh, I'm accomplishing a few things today, but i um, pretty tired um, after cooking a massive amount of food yesterday. Successful holiday, though. Uh, I hope everybody had a good one if you were celebrating um, food day. Um, all right, I'm going to play this game. Um, I'm going to start out by playing the bad version of it, which is the uh, Dr. Grant version. Um, I'm going to like try to get this size properly. Hold on. Yeah, I think that's actually correct. Okay. Um, Toby's here. Toby's cold. Toby needs treats. If you want to buy Toby treats, he's very sad right now. Janelle's downstairs uh, working out in our... Um, our new uh, garage gym that we've built. And um, Toby, Toby, having been with Janelle uh, constantly for the last eight, nine months, uh, does not like it when one of us leaves the house. Um, he's very distraught. So um, here you go, Toby. Whoa, uh-oh, oh, that's going to be a tricky one. He's going to have to. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Toby might get stuck. Let me see if I can show what's about to happen here. Oh, we're going the long way around. Okay, we made it. All right, good job, Toby. All right. <laughs> Go back there. Um, Toby, one more. Oh, oh man. Like one out of five today. Not a good, not a good rate. Um, only just found out about the tradition of the president pardoning a turkey. Um, that's basically all I know about it, know about it but hope you had a good one. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's a thing that we do here for some reason. Um, not the least silly thing, but uh, one of the silliest. Um, anyway, uh, what's going on here? Yeah, sorry, Cord. I don't know if you caught the beginning of this, but um, I, I don't know if I have a reliable Ace Combat 4 ROM. Um, I don't think that it worked. So I just now found out. I thought it was going to be fine, and then I tried to open it just a second ago, and it didn't work, uh, which was a surprise. So I don't, know, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do it unless I can find one while in, I'm in the midst of the stream here, but um, I can delay and uh, do it maybe tomorrow after multiplayer Saturday and stuff. Um, anyway, hey, Superhero. Let's play this game. Um, hmm. Just like Jurassic Park. <laughs> Love it. The Rex has demolished your car. The electric fences are down and all the dinosaurs are loose on the island. Make your way through the jungle. So here's my question with this. Uh, this game runs with the canon that, like, Dr. Grant just leaves the kids. <laughs> you know? Like, 
You were, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, oh, oh my god, oh boy. <laughs> I mean, unless I'm missing something, it's the same, it's the same story, like, the T-Rex wrecks the Jeep, and Dr. Grant's here. This isn't, like, another character, like, this is clearly Alan Grant. Um, but, but then he just leaves the kid to die in Jurassic Park. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Take that. Uh, yeah, the bad version of this game is is the Dr. Grant uh, version, but we'll play a little bit just for fun. Um, uh, also, yes, the T-Rex just picking the car up. Uh, interesting. Maybe the kids are in your inventory. <laughs> oh no! Oh god, that's gonna hurt. So is this like a Groundhog Day conceit? Where like, oh man, I... Here I am with the Triceratops again. Oh, I think the... I think, oh. I think it's a... Uh... I don't know what you call it, it's like shield? It's head? It's, it's skull. It's skull shield is uh, blocking my darts. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> what a good movie this would have been. Why didn't... It's Frill. Thank you, No Tom. I should have known that at the time I was kid. Um, this would have been a much better film. Well, you know what? I think it's just peaceful. I think, can I just jump over it? No, I can't. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Oh, okay, now it's fine. Now it's fine. Um, oh, sorry, this is a Genesis game. This is a Sega Genesis. There was a Jurassic Park for, um, for SNES. It was a completely different thing, uh, which I played on stream. Uh, a couple months ago, actually. But, uh, this was the Genesis version, which I coveted. I never had, uh, a Genesis. And, um, this game and the X-Men game were just like, oh my god, what if I had a Genesis? My life would be complete. Even though I still, at the end of the day, was like, Super Nintendo's the best, uh, I, I really wanted the Genesis just for, like, these adult, edgy games with their, like, Edgy sprites. Oh my god, it <laughs> that slide is designed to just throw you right into the spikes. <laughs> anyway, um, oh fuck. I actually think I streamed the, uh, the X-Men game before, uh, a while back. Oh right, I think you can like, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, damage boosting. No, this is, uh, not everyone runs this category. <laughs> God, the way he, like, Superman's off of that. Oh, fuck. The game's still loud? Okay. Sorry. I, um, the reason that that's happening, uh, generally, is that I, um, when I was streaming The Sims on the Discord, uh, the last couple days, I, uh, I had to like turn off my speaker volume. Otherwise, I, I I I had it on for a while, and I was hearing like sobbing from the other room, and I was like, God, our neighbors, something must have happened. And then I realized it was just like ten Sims, uh, you know, having a uh, a little cry over a dead uh, a couple dead Sims. Um, I don't know how to like crawl and move at the same time. I guess I can't. Oh wait, there we go. is like an emulation thing. Oh no, I might get stuck over here. Oh my god, it's like not... I think this emulator doesn't have like a down and right input. I don't even know how I managed to trick it into... <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, it's close. It's close. It says I'm playing The Sims 4 right now. What? On Discord, maybe? I'm, uh, oh, oh, the category. Oh, that's funny. Whoops, I forgot to change it. Yeah, I'm moving a little slow today. Not, uh, although I don't even know. Can I find Jurassic Park Genesis? 
I mean, there's like Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, which is a game. <laughs> um, oh my god, there's so many Jurassic Park games. I guess I'll just choose Jurassic Park. That seems accurate. Not Jurassic Park Pinball or Jurassic Park Dinosaur Battles or Jurassic Park uh, The Game. I guess maybe this is Jurassic Park The Game, but I'll just I'll just choose Jurassic Park in general. Oh no, and then The Game. Yeah, the Genesis emulator is not the best, really. Okay. Um, all right. Continuing on with our... Oh, so that, in that moment, you don't actually have to, um, you don't have to jump. You can just uh, let it bounce you. Um, Circadian, uh, not yet. Um, are you talking about Rampage? Uh, Jurassic Park Rampage? Or I guess this, there was a Rampage edition of this game, and then there was Jurassic Park 2, which I don't know if Jurassic Park 2 on the SNES was the same game as it was on the Genesis. Um, I definitely played the, the SNES version, which was kind of like a Contra clone. <laughs> Like running around shooting dinos? I don't, oh. <laughs> well, sometimes when you're in Jurassic Park, uh, a boulder falls on your head. <laughs> oh, does Dr. Grant murder people on Rampage? Well, I, I guess, I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to play a little more Dr. Grant. Although I really want to get to the, the other version of the game, but... Um, Oh. oh! I think the trick is to like let him turn and then shoot him in the butt. Or just like run from here, I guess. Oh, you start with the grenades. I guess that's what it wants you to do. That's probably the trick. Oh! Forgot about you! You have assault rifles and shotguns and stuff around me. I think Rampage must have been um, Jurassic Park 2 on SNES. It's probably the same game. Uh, that sounds about right. Um, there was a Lost World game, I think. I never played it. I don't know anything about that. It's weird that, like, none of these games get anywhere close to the actual plot of the film. <laughs> like, just nowhere close. Uh, like, I was I was mentioning earlier in the stream that, I mean, this isn't even trying as far as getting Lex and Tim into the situation here, but, um, oh my god, this is, this is tough. Oh, I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, I have no help. Um, oh, you can climb on this. Oh, but I can't Oh, I can't use the D-pad properly, so that's going to be a pain. I think I need to go for this health. Bummer, considering that the... Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, drawing from the book, I guess, makes sense, because they probably had the book and not the film as they were developing the game. Um, also, early versions of the film were, were much closer to, like the, the original Crichton screenplay for Jurassic Park was pretty close to the book. Um, and then they had a rewrite done, which changed all of that. But um, so I wonder if they thought like that was gonna be the movie as they were making it, but... Uh, Board. You don't like Jurassic Park? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I don't know how any movie gets made into a platformer. Yeah. I, I wonder, um. I wonder if there's any successful, uh. 
successful for, like movie adaptation from the early 90s. I can't get down. It's just auto grabbing the ledge. I don't know how to. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. God damn it. They just kill them? Maybe. I like that this level is essentially just a giant pachinko level. <laughs> like you're just you as Dr. Grant are just being funneled uh, towards ten holes that will uh, pay out at different levels. Uh, okay, let's try not to. Uh... Hi there. The Aladdin games, I suppose. Um, probably the uh, closest thing. They at least got Disney involved. Um, I think that may be that for the uh, Dr. Grant playthrough. Oh my god, what a disaster. Well, although I guess I have to, uh, I guess I have to die three times. I'll give it one more shot. Yep, the Unix system is a real, uh, real file browser. Too much tr oh boy. <laughs> Without too much trouble, uh, while I'm streaming, it's not gonna be a big deal. Um, hope everybody's uh, day yesterday went well if you were doing stuff. Definitely wasn't as tired as I've been in past years uh, by the end of the day getting better at this, but um, and all our food turned out excellent, but uh, still about 10 o'clock I was like, okay, I sleep. Oh god, oh god. Oh no. Oh, what? The range on that is absurd. Oh, he's gonna... Uh-oh. <laughs> Alright. Let's go to the best part of this game, which is not the Dr. Grant playthrough. The Dr. Grant playthrough is terrible. Uh, I wonder how many people played this game and never even knew that there was a different one. Um, but there is... I hit start and missed the raptor intro. I want to go back. Oh, I can't. Well, that's fine. Um, oh, this is so good. I thought at the time, like, what a brilliant adaptation of Jurassic Park. You play as the dumb raptor. Perfect. Exactly what I want to do. Um, in retrospect, the controls, not so good. <laughs> not so good. Uh... The uh, the jump a little a little tough. Um, I do like that there are uh, drumsticks littered around Jurassic Park for the Raptors uh, to eat. Makes sense to me. Oh, that super jump too. That is pretty. <laughs> and I really like the uh, the ledge grab uh, where it swings by its uh, forearms make any sense physically, but it, it's uh, impressive. Oh god. Right there. I think there's a way to um, 
to get into a run here. I thought it was like a double tap. It seems to be working though. Oh, maybe it's like you just have to have a long runway? Or maybe you hold a button. I'll figure it out. Uh, yeah, they they definitely made this uh, using a, a model um, film. Uh, oh, you can do the little jump too. I forgot about that. Um, it would be. Uh, especially cool if this was like one of the Phil Tippett models that they didn't use for the film but had been built for the um, original version that wasn't gonna that was gonna use go motion and not uh, not CG but I have no idea if it was that's impossible <laughs> that is actually impossible to do um, I guess you have to come at it from the other angle Now I'm really curious if this was using the uh, Phil Tippett models. Phil Tippett being the um, famous stop motion animator who uh, was the uh, reason for the line, uh, don't you mean extinct? Oh god, how do I, um, how do, I do this? Oh god, I'm gonna die. Oh! Uh, <laughs> what the hell? There's no way to do that! I guess oh, there's a, there. I guess there's a way down before I got there. I've got to. I've got to figure this out. By the way, uh, if you've never played King Arthur's World, get ready for a whole experience. Um, I'm excited to play that game on a stream. There's got to be an earlier drop. Oh wait, there's a whole sc oh I missed the, the the scrolling intro. That's probably extremely dumb and good. Uh, yeah, same nuclear. Uh, I was mentioning earlier this game and the X Men game were definitely like an era. I had no interest in Sonic. I mean, I that's not entirely true. I played it at like a friend's house and liked it for what it was, but. Um, this stuff felt so different to me than what you would find on an SNES uh, that I was captivated by it. I do this every time. Oh, eating this food doesn't seem to really do much. Look at that. Whoa, okay, so this is the way down. Oh, ah, uh, you gotta do that little jump. Okay. Password. Your raptor password. You sense Grant is near. Make your way to the power station, but beware of electricity. <laughs> I don't remember if, like, at the end of this, do you just win and kill the characters? Like, is that the plot of this? Absolutely bizarre. Final fight is against Grant. God, how strange. Oh, cool. That's a cool little animation. I, I almost, I would bet a lot of money that this is the, um, the Phil Tippett model. Oh, I really want to know now. There's like an oral history of the making of this one. Oh, wow! I got hit with that grenade and then I fell asleep. Yeah, my memory is that Grant doesn't come through this level. That like the levels are, uh, are all different. Oh, he goes in the power station? Okay. I mean, it is an interesting premise, like two platforming uh, characters that kind of are at odds with each other and going through different 
or uh, the same environments but through different paths through the uh, through the same world. Man, this this is gonna be difficult too. Um, I guess I gotta go from like down here if I can. Oh, wait, is this even possible? Hmm. I need to open that gate somehow. Oh, okay, it's okay. Yeah, I assume they were they were different, considering that the uh, characters have different uh, movement sets. Blue Sky Software made this and went under in 2001. Blue Sky Software. Sounds familiar. Oh, there we go. Wow, that's a tough jump. Ooh. Oh, this jump is so good. <laughs> just jumped ahead of Grant. I just killed Grant. Raptors cannot swim. Avoid the water that floods the abandoned pump station as you pursue Grant. Oh, this seems like a great level. Classic sewer level. Oh boy. Oh, you've got to use the leap here. Yeah. Oh, this looks like trash. <laughs> Alright, Circadian, maybe you were right. Maybe, maybe this one's bad. I mean, the tough thing is I just can't do left. Oh boy, I can't. I can't hold left uh, and up at the same time. With the simulator. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Maybe that's enough of Jurassic Park Genesis. Uh, I mean, I really enjoy that game uh, nostalgically. Is that a word? Um, in a nostalgic sense, but uh, yeah, maybe it's not actually good to play. However, um, I'm extremely uh, optimistic about our next game. Um, give me a moment to load the game. Um, hopefully my controller just works. Uh, let's see, aspect. Okay, thanks, Gordon. I will, uh, I will grab that while, uh, while we're playing this. It's too large to scan viruses, so I'm going to trust you, Cord. Um. Yes, yeah, Circadian, my memory of that is that I also couldn't figure out what you do in the final room. Um, anyway. Oh, I should change the game. Uh, are they going to have it? Oh, they have it. Let me just uh, type it in twice. Which we're never fixing that bug. Um, Argonaut Software. Classic studio. Um, all right, let's get this going. Wait, I'm not playing right now. No. No, I'm not. Um... It's gonna be... Okay, this is just... Remap my controller, one moment. Uh... Okay. Perfect. 
<laughs> Look at this shit. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Army. Um, everything's fine. Oh, you know what? I remember this game having surround sound. Yes, yeah, surround sound. Let's turn surround sound on. Ah, yes. Now we're, uh, we got that Dolby. Um, is Jurassic Park a holiday movie? Uh, mm, I don't think so. In, in what way, uh, in what way would it be a holiday movie? This scrolling is painful to watch. Cord, there are a lot of things that cause you, uh, undue suffering. <laughs> Uh, the kids are on holiday. Oh, I guess they are on holiday. Yeah, yeah. All right, um, here we go. So this is King Arthur's World. King Arthur's World is essentially Lemmings, um, but, uh, but you're in King Arthur's World. Um, so you start with King Arthur here. Uh, oh god, the controls are going to be interesting. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay. So, um, you, you have this, like, lemmings menu where you can, like, essentially spawn your, your lemmings guys. Uh, yeah, here we go. Okay. But then once you do, you're controlling them. Uh, unlike lemmings. Um, oh, I think this is going to be very bad, actually. Uh, no, it's fine. Okay. Um, oops. Um, oh, oh, stop. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, so how are we gonna do this? There we go. Um, gonna judge the arc. So yeah, so every unit that you spawn, I think eventually you wanna just have like a lot of stuff out there, um, but it starts you pretty slow. Um, the thing that blew my mind about this game is you play like, I don't know, like 10 levels uh, that are more or less like this. And then it takes you to, like, the Dwarf Kingdom, where it's just, like, you know, uh, just super high fantasy, wacky stuff. Um, I'm, I, I'm gonna see if I can make it that far. We'll find out. Um, but the, uh, the gameplay gets much more complicated than this, uh, I believe. Um, you end up having to, like, mix and match your units to, uh... I mean, the, the levels, I think, are basically, like, big puzzles. I don't know that there's, like... I don't think these units spawn. Like, I don't think we're, like, playing against, like, a computer or something. I think... I think you just kind of have to, like, get past the stuff. I don't know. We'll find out. I can't really remember. Um, okay, so we got to the gold. I think now you call in King Arthur, and King Arthur gets the gold. Maybe. Remember. Um. Hmm. Controls. Do you work? Oh, I just spawned more dudes. I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, I really like when they're facing different directions and just fly everywhere. Oh wait, I've got to do this. Okay, so that's how you switch between units, right. Okay, cool. So yeah, I think the idea is you're essentially clearing the path for King Arthur, and then um, he goes and, uh, you know, gets all the stuff. So, you know, you just, you're in charge of, like, commanding King Arthur's army. Um, they all, you know, sacrifice their lives so the king can just kind of walk across the uh, battlefield and pick all the stuff up. Um, yeah, exactly, Mr. Kaden. Um, it's like a real-time multiplayer. <laughs> King Arthur's gold? No. Is it actually in the tradition of this game? Is that is that like a real thing? <laughs> oh my god, look at how happy Toby is. This is what Toby's been missing. Like, when Janelle is in the house, I mean, I love Janelle being around, but... Toby just cannot get a nap because having two people at opposite ends of the house, he just ping pongs between us. Like he he, his, he just will not let himself like settle down. Um, this kind of he's been so tired and cranky. He's so happy right now. Anyway, um, okay, barrel men. Let's 
Let's get a Barrelman. You can use King Arthur. Um, it's just risky. Okay, I think I remember how this works. Like, do... Yeah. Right, so they always plant the uh, explosive. And then, oh god, oh god. So, the other thing that's wacky about this game, so these explosives, like anything that explodes or like has fire like that, like fire arrows, etc., etc., um, it just kind of, it's randomized. Like the, the sort of explosive flames are randomized. Um, so it can get kind of intense. Okay, I think, yeah, the way that this works is they just go home no matter what. They just plant the thing and then they take off. In theory, I could probably go up there and kill those uh, slinger dudes with King Arthur, but I'm going to play it safe. And see, this is the other thing you can do in this game. You can just kind of, like, get stuff going here. Uh, although, you've got to make sure not to... Uh... Whoops! Okay, yeah, that's that's the risky part. I don't know if I could blow that up. Might be able to. Uh, and I think if these guys get hit, they just instantly explode. See, that doesn't happen. Oh no! <laughs> Oh my god, oh jeez. Okay. Oops. Uh if I mm, what's the button? I think I did it, but I think because he dropped it and you lose control, it just like snapped back to King Arthur. And so I, I think that door is going to be gone. I just can't check. Uh, I bet with the shoulder buttons you can... Um, let me map the shoulder buttons really quickly. I think with the shoulder buttons you can just like scan the, uh, the whole battlefield. Ah, yes. Ah, okay, so it did work. Yeah, my the thing that I really like about this game, the music is kind of in sync with the... Uh, or not, it's not perfectly in sync, but like the the, the sort of animation uh, cycles of the, uh, the walk cycles of the dudes. It's just very, it's a very groovy game. Everyone's just kind of chilling, bouncing around to this music. Yeah, probably Secret. That, that, that tracks. Look at those dudes. Knights and Soldiers, so this is where it gets really complicated. Um, I think that's just rain. <laughs> I don't know what the difference is between these two. I, I think... Oh, this is like a shield guy, right. So I think you can just say, like, yeah, stay here, and then they block. Um... And I don't know exactly. I think I think that's useful for like arrows, but I think in in this case it's less useful. Ah, uh, let's get the rest of our knights going. And you can just have I think all of your dudes out at once. Have some sprite flickering. Maybe you can't have everything? Let's see. Yeah, there might be like a limitation. I guess you can only have so many units out. Oh my god! Uh, I wonder if I should have been using these dudes some way. This feels like a lot of enemies. 
and I haven't really been very successful so far. Um, They do anything though. They just kind of like. I mean, you can use the shields, but like, I don't know what. How would that help? Hmm. Uh, yeah, this is bad. I think King Arthur is gonna be going it alone here. Uh, oh boy. That's what I thought, Secret. Um, I think actually this level you're just meant to take King Arthur out and have King Arthur just wreck the entire army. It seems like it might just work. <laughs> Look at this guy! Arthur's World Speedrunner? Oh man, I mean, for sure that already exists, but, uh... Ugh, the button precision would be rough. Also, the end of this game is really intense, so... I... Man, that'd be... That'd be biting off more than Far Cry 2, probably. Uh, okay, so now we have Engineers. Right, so this is where it becomes truly like Lemmings. Um... Uh, so yeah, we can do a number of things with the engineer. Um, build a bridge. Oh, mm. <laughs> whoops. Uh, or this is what I want. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, there we go. Um. Okay, so this is more for. There we are. All right. Um, no results for King Arthur's gold. What about King Arthur's world, though? Uh, so, Mad Marbury, uh, the reason that I played this game, slash knew of it, slash loved it, uh, is that um, it was on sale, uh, I think, was that our Blockbuster was like, I think they were ending game rentals. I think they were just like done with game rentals. Or it was like they were done with SNES game rentals. Either way, it was like a sale of their carts that they weren't going to use anymore. And that's how I picked this up. Um, how do I build this thing? Uh, my copy had the Blockbuster sticker on it, in other words, which was very good. Uh, how to do the catapult. Um, whoops. Oh no. Don't stand there. Nope. Huh. Hitting the same button as the other stuff. Oh yeah, this was designed for the mouse, I think. It feels like a PC game that they pitched to Nintendo and Nintendo was like, sure, we'll put it out, you know, we'll pub you know, allow you to publish it. Um, I don't remember how to build the, uh, maybe you have to like be stopped. I also don't know what the tents, like how you make the tent. Before. Um, oh, you know what, I'm not even supposed to do this here anyway because you've got to do the uh, battering ram, I think. But my memory of this is that you have to make the tent and then you make the stuff in there? You know, I don't know if it has uh, mouse support. I mean, it must, you would think. Let's see. Uh, use SNES mouse. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, well, I mean, arguably I'm going to be worse with the mouse because I, I, I played this game... Uh, 
Oh, this is weird. I played this game with the controller, but let's see. Um, oh, weird. It's got like contextual uh, arrows for. Uh, No, how to do these things though. Oh, I pointed it the wrong way. This is bad. No, they're shooting King Arthur. <laughs> oh no. Oh God, oh my God, stop it. Go home, go home. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, this is, this is weird because I don't know. Okay, it's right click on the thing to get more. Guys, I guess you just left click to make them do stuff. Yeah, okay. Like, I want them to do, to make the, uh, to do the battering ram. Oh, do they have to like collect? Oh, they do. Hey. I know, he's been very patient. King Arthur's world. Uh, it's like lemmings. Love lemmings. I know. Um, how was your workout? Yeah. Hmm. But not terrible. That's good. Oh, that's good. to use it though. Um, the music is very good and it, oh, um, oh, these got burned. Oh, gee. Um, I don't know if I have enough to, oh, I do, okay. Um, all right, let's see if I can uh, catapult like back here maybe. It's really not letting me do it. I think it has to be like perfectly flat ground, maybe? Oh, 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 geez. Well, that didn't work at all. I guess I should have King Arthur go handle that guy. <laughs> wow. When, yeah, when you mentioned dinner and Toby licks his lips, it's, it's, uh,. Why is the screen not scrolling? Oh, how do you scroll the screen with the mouse? I don't... Mm, mm, this is weird. Uh, oh, you know what? I think it's because I was on the... Yeah, I was just on the other guys. Okay. You may need four to make the... Uh, make the catapult, or five rather. You may need all five. That might be my problem. Oh, right, yeah. Initially I was uh, thinking that was um, related to like how many times you could build it, but I guess that is the requirement for for uh, your workers. All right, well, anyway, next level. I think at a certain point, it's just like, you've got all the guys, now you can do it. Oh, wizards, right. How about those wizards? Um, oh yeah. Okay, we're gonna get one of these guys out and then like, 
Oh, right, and then it just stops them. I forgot about that. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh. Actually, you know what? We're just going to solve this with King Arthur right now. Really don't give me much time to experiment. All right. Oops, no, I didn't want the white one. No! Okay. Ah, there we go. Right. Oh no, King Arthur! <laughs> oh shit! Oh. I'll just have him dodge him. It's fine. Oh, this is looking bad. Oh god. Uh, do stuff. Oh jeez. Oh, King Arthur's taking some shots. Oh no! <laughs> Why is this going on so long? Oh, King Arthur's super dead. You failed the test. I definitely did. Okay. Let's get it together here. Oh. Oh. Ow, it's it's tough. Uh oh. It really is tough the way they start. I don't know what this skull means. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just all right. Well, that's useful, I guess. Um, pretty intense, but uh, I think this one may be like mind control. <laughs> Christ. Um, and then the zapper, I think the zapper might be, uh, might not be good to use for the, uh, oops. Oh, it's tough when they're in the spawn area. Try this thing. Ah, yes. Um, but it looks like it's temporary, huh? Okay, well, let's use the uh, white mage to uh, heal and buff. Uh, King Arthur, I guess. Okay, and we'll just have him. I go do his do his stuff. I like this. Why have an army where you can just have a wizard that just makes your one uh, king into a terminator? Um, mm, a little low on health, though. I think it's going to be fine. did was walk like you know 90 seconds and they're like ah well I mean time for another beer <laughs> um okay now we can use archers and barrel men uh it's true man Marbury uh I was mentioning earlier it, it turns into like high fantasy with like dwarves and sappers and things um Oh god. There we go. Yeah, let's try um let's try blowing these up. Hey, all right. 
right? Oh, gold! For some reason. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, yeah, I didn't leave enough time there. Um, well, that's okay. Shoot. Oh. <laughs> I didn't have the right buttons ready. I mean, that is the tough thing about this game. You gotta, like, make sure that you're, uh... It's almost a little easier with the controller, but... Oh, God, I should turn internalization on. Lockno fixed it. Uh, thank you, Lockno. Um, I really should get that on. But I didn't grab the new version yet. you can do fire arrows at a certain point. Um, a lot of the stuff, like the, the uh, ladder there, um, burns. Eventually I think other things are burnable, so just be kind of careful. Uh-oh. Alright. Uh, let's get Kung Arthur on the move here. Although, ooh, low health. Not good. Maybe we can try like a pro move here. Oh jeez. Mmm, that's that didn't mm, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Alright, it was fine. Everything's fine. Uh, let's get those guys out, and then we'll get like Barrelman and uh, King Arthur in support here. got a hit and uh, well now we have no archers um, we're gonna have to send out quite a few barrelmen uh, because uh, it's gonna be tough to get past now no archers yes this game actually is maybe the most uh, This could be really bad. Um, the most, uh, yeah, the, the, the most appropriate uh, a hoist, a hoisting machine. I don't know. Okay, I guess I can't make it through there. Might have been a reset otherwise. <laughs> oh, that poor guy. All right, well. We made it. Gold, 13 gold acquired, my lord. We spent it all on beer. Uh, now they give me all the stuff. Well, almost. No wizards, but... Uh... Let's get some archers out here. Oh, that's satisfying. Uh-oh. They're on to me. Um, 
Um, yeah, let's do let's do some soldiers. Yeah, the soldiers are kind of fire and forget. You can just kind of let them do their thing. I don't think you can... I don't think there's friendly fire. Uh, this should... this tactic should be fine, I think. I wish you could just set them to automatically fire. Although this is actually less annoying with the controller, because you can just sit there and hit A. As opposed to like Diablo clicking, but... Okay. Uh, so that's that, and then we'll get this Barrelman out. Oh yeah, well I think the, uh, the goblins have a lot of gold. Uh, in those wacky fantasy levels, and I think that's probably... Uh... Not a good place to stand, I guess. Uh... Oh, we just have to break the wall, okay. Oh, we just need that barrelman to make it. Although I think, oh yeah, there's some stuff down here, so we need barrelman. Uh, I don't think it will, though, Tom. So enjoy that in your your uh, in your dreams. <laughs> um, oh my God! We have to wait. This is the one thing about this game, I completely forgot that there was a sprite limit. We have to wait for, uh, for everybody to come back before we want another Barrelman. This is why engineers are superior to the Barrelman. Barrel the engineers can fire that catapult, which has fire, so it can also, like, knock down, knock down all this stuff. Um, but, uh, we are constrained to the Barrelman here. Yeah, it might be worth looking at uh, using using a cheat code to look at some of the later wacky stuff. Um, at this point, you kind of get the idea of uh, King Arthur's world. But I'm actually kind of curious. I can't really remember how wacky it is. I think it's pretty wacky. Oh boy. Alright, he's facing the other way. I think we're gonna be good. Yeah, although, oh! There is. Yeah. Oh no, 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 no! Where are you going? Wait, where are you going? Oh no, I can't control him. Wait, what? Oh, I must have hit his, like, go home button. Oh. Alright, well, I'm gonna look up a cheat code for King Arthur's World, unless somebody else wants to, but, um. Passwords. Let's look at passwords. Uh. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, I've got him. Oops, I just dropped a barrel on the thing. Uh, you know, here's another funny thing. I don't know... Ah, there we go. Okay, perfect. Wait. What is the deal with... Oh, I don't... Uh, this is weird. So it's a grid pattern, but, like, the, the fact that I'm looking at has, like, R's and S's, which I guess is... Maybe Goblin Underworld 3? It's, I guess it's red and not red, but I, so I, maybe it just goes left to right? All right, let's just assume that it goes left to right. Oh my god, this is a mess. Why would they do it like this? Uh, okay. And then... this and then I guess 
Yep. Wow, weird. Okay. Sure. Uh, all right. Let's see how uh, how crazy this gets. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, it's like very steampunky. Oh wow, they give you so many, so many things. Oh, the frame rate kind of takes a dive too. Wait, what? This music? What? <laughs> yeah, it... It's extremely funky. Anyway, look at these levels. <laughs> oh man, there's like a minecart? What? Oh! <laughs> like, what is... What's this guy? <laughs> oh, that's the Goblin King. Okay. Oh, I gotta go down there. Alright. Anyway, yeah. Uh, this game is extremely good. If you doubted it. Not an enemy? It seems like it is though. I mean, one advantage of uh, speedrunning this game would be that you could bring a uh, an SNES mouse on stage. Uh, <laughs> underneath it? I don't know. Definitely stuck with the uh, three unit limit. Oh! Oh, I think the catapult just took out the wizard. Well... Whoa! Catapult can fire extremely high. Um... Let's, uh... Oh, I remember what the tent does. The tent is, um... It just brings forward the uh, spawn point. That's very useful. I'm gonna do that. Oh! Enemies? Oh my god. Oh, this is bad. Just teleport in on you. I like the little hammers that they use. Oh, those are. Oh, those. Oh, those do damage. That's. Mm, that's tough. Okay. Uh. Oh, I just made them go home. That's probably for the best. They're pretty banged up. Um. Engineers, and then I guess. I Archers. Uh, thanks, Telemachus. Music's 
good. There should be like a YouTube uh, modern jazz version of this. Like someone should do it, like a, a really nice cover of this. It deserves it. Um, okay, so wait, what? Where where are you going? Oh jeez. Uh oh no. 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 Get him! Kind of working. Kind of working. Hey, good job. Where's my, uh, where are my engineers? I think they may have died in the meantime. Uh, yeah, Superhero, I was saying that earlier. I love the way that they, like, bop to the music. Uh, it's very, very good. Go all uh, dark wizards. It's a little easier to switch between characters with the uh, controller. Weirdly enough. But it seems like you probably would want to use the mouse if you were gonna. I don't know how to, I don't know if the lightning is a good idea to use. I didn't. I think these green dudes you just have to wait on. Can you climb this chain? I guess I wouldn't get anywhere. Let's just try it. Oh! Okay. Oh no! <laughs> Completely owned. Uh, well. This, um, this sequence in the game, these levels, uh, did remind me a bit of, um, like some definite, like, Fraggle Rock vibes going on here. I feel. This is hard. I mean, this is a hard level. There's so much going on. Let's see what this key is. Oh, oh, wait. Do they just die from that drop? I think they do. Oh, yeah, they do. Oops. <laughs> uh. Well, it's uh, it's been uh, it's been a bit on uh, old games here. Um, I should switch to uh, Ace Combat if I can. Or at least find out if it's possible. Um, so uh, thank you, Affable, for allowing me to uh, indulge myself for a little bit and show off King Arthur's World, which is, uh, I think, still a pretty interesting game. Um, I wish that there was a modern version of it. Maybe that thing, uh, King Arthur's Gold or whatever, is actually uh, showing the promise of that. Um, but yeah, let me uh, let me see if I can get this going. Um, oh, okay. I've got the file that you sent me. Uh, cord. Um, I just have to remember the name of the emulator. It's like ex. Uh, uh, there it is. Okay. Um,
Oh, geez. Hold on. Ugh. I forgot a key thing. Okay, I just got it. Mm, it's gonna take a second. Um, yeah, thank you, Ethel. Um, speaking of uh, old stuff, Ethel, I was gonna take a peek at Xbox One prices uh, later today, but um, trying to uh, trying to find a solution. For Rock Band 4. Um, okay, sorry everybody, this will take 10 seconds and then I'll be loading up uh, Ace Combat 4. I guess I should uh, put as the category. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's right, this is called, um, this has like a colon title. I don't remember which one it is. Like Ace Combat colon something something. Uh, but it's not Ace Combat for... Oh, I guess it's Shattered Skies. Oh, you know what? I think they've just got it entered stupidly on, on Twitch. It's 04. <laughs> Ace Combat 04 is the category. Anyway, okay, we're all fine now. Uh, all right. So, okay. We are good to go. Sorry for the delay. Uh, well, I need to make sure my controller is going to work, but after that, we are definitely good to go. Oh, I guess this might just work out of the box. Let's give it a go. Um, uh, it's not. Recognizing the file cord. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like trailing off here. Uh, weird. Oh, oh, I see the issue. Yeah, I did unzip it. It's just, um... Oh, this is weird. Okay, hold on. I'm going to just try it. Try a thing. Oh, no. This is really strange because I'm unzipping it and then... Oh, wait, never mind. It unzips as a folder. <laughs> That's what I missed. Okay. Uh... Oh, I think this is going to be fine now. Let's verify that my controller is going to work. Oh, no, it turned off. Why would it just turn off that fast? Uh, I might need to restart the emulator. Okay. I'm not, not convinced. Yeah, watch Toby while I'm trying to figure this out. Not convinced that my uh, controller is going to work here. Yeah. Uh, so nope. Okay, let's pause while I figure this out. Um, uh, emulation, it's so 
good every time. Uh, all right. Um, exceeded. Okay, I think it was not actually met properly out of the box. Just gonna hope that that's true. Uh. Okay, well. Hopefully this works. I have so far to go. Whoa. Oh, it is zero four. Oh, interesting. Correctly labeled this way. Oh uh, yeah, this is, um, I mean, this is in line with the previous game so far. This is the PS, or a PS2 one, yeah, so I guess the first one, I would, I would think. Ah, the start button works. Oh, such a relief. Okay. New game. Uh, let's do normal. I was just a child when the stars fell from the skies. But I remember how they built a cannon to destroy them. And in turn, how that cannon brought war upon us. Wait, they tried to shoot the stars? War was an abstract idea, nothing more than a show on TV. As a child, I only saw it as something that happened in some faraway land. Until that final day of summer. One day, while on my way to school, I looked up in the skies. A sound like distant thunder. In the blue skies far above me, contrails drew dizzying circles around in a crazy waltz. Oh, I like the heart. A battle in the beautiful skies far away. I could not tear my gaze away from them. fell out of the skies, spiraling and spewing orange flames to crash by the cape. The that cape kid's head is not on, right? <laughs> Did anybody else see that? He was full exorcist. Now they only live in my memories of days past. <laughs> what? The victor what? circled around to confirm the kill. And on his craft, there was a large number 13 emblazoned in yellow. I will never forget this. What an intense opening. The Allies retreated across the ocean before the onslaught of the enemy. Our little town in the heart of the mainland fell into deep isolation. Four years after the planet fall of the Ulysses 1994 XF04 asteroids, Stonehenge, the erosion weapon of mass destruction, was originally built to shoot down asteroids. Upon discovering its potential as an anti aircraft weapon, the erosions ruled the skies over the mainland. <laughs> the ISAF's attempts to destroy Stonehenge through airstrikes failed. 
As a result, strategic positions on the mainland were lost. This in turn forced ISAF to evacuate from the east coast to North Point. ISAF GHQ is regrouping its remaining combat forces at North Point. However, the Erujians control most parts of the mainland, and they have forward deployed bombers to Wrigley Air Base, a former ISAF facility. This bomber force will attempt to deal a lethal blow to the ISAF at North Point from this strategic position. Here is the current SID rep and your orders for deployment, effective immediately. Enemy agents destroyed our early warning radar network, allowing several bear bombers to penetrate our airspace. In 15 minutes, we expect this bomber formation to strike Allen Ford Air Base and then move on to target. That's sort of like point. vaguely our like Russia. Our are extremely weak at this point in time. Hence, our GHQ is a safe. Oh, it's like email. It is Russian. critical that you destroy the bombers and neutralize the threat before they get past me. Electronic Russian. Remember, you are the first line of defense for North Point, and the fate of ISAF lies in your hands. I'll be so happy in front of that hater. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what? What's the combat area? Okay, I guess that's the one I'm, I'm selecting. Imagine I just... I can't buy anything yet, so I'm just gonna start to Um, okay. Oops. Either the controls are mapped right, or I just can't select anything yet. I just don't think I have anything to select, so I think we're good. Yeah, I have to say, this is not what I thought these games were. I, I mean, I knew that they were arcade uh, flight sims, but I, I really did not. I think there was this much story to them. Oh, is this like a classic glitch cord? <laughs> AWACS here, call sign Sky Eye. Do you read? Your call sign is Mobius One. We'll refer to you by this name at all times. You are now under my command. Six bombers on Vector 360. Sure nice. <laughs> Today is my birthday. Just mentioning it. Apropos of nothing. Hmm, that does seem accurate, Circadian. No joy. I don't see anything. Trying to see where the uh to. Whoops! Uh, ah, there we go. Oh yeah, I see. I see the issue. Um, I'm worried about stopping the simula or the emulation. Um, I, I, I guess I can probably change graphic settings while it's running. Uh, let's see, video. Of course, I have to switch off of hardware mode. Okay. Uh... I like that there's a category um, in this menu called speed hacks. Um, enable game fixes, maybe? Um, doesn't look like it covers this game, though. Yeah, man, emulator stuff is just... Oh, wait, here we go. I see. Uh, okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna try it. Okay, I think it's. I think it worked. Stay cool when they close in. Clear to engage. Mobius one, uh, engage. I can't remember what button the, oh. oh, hey, there we go. All right, we're in business. 
Um, I gotta engage Target with Bogey. How do I engage with Bogey? Nope! <laughs> no! What? What? Oh, if you hold down the button, it just, like, gives you a cam? Interesting. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to select targets, though. This one really does not, uh, I guess I could have read the manual. So much happening already. Too fast in these uh, passing these bombers out. Oh, whoops, I switched bombs. Uh oh, they're bombing the uh, airfield. I thought I could uh, use the guns, but I can't. I'm bad. Uh, I can see why you were uh, really bored with uh, Flight Sim. Board. <laughs> if this is if this is uh, what you're used to for for flight games, <laughs> flight simulator is like the antithesis of this. Oh god! All right, we did it, Mobius One. This is Alan Fort. Got visual on the downed bombers. Whose kill was that? Make sure to thank him. That's a roundup. Let's go on home. I mean, they're doing a pretty good job in the PS2 era um, with the uh, with the ground plane there. That blurry effect actually works pretty well. So you get like super close to the Thanks to your efforts, the enemy bomber strike was averted. However, our victory will be meaningless shoot. The war seemed to unfold in the blink of an eye. Oh wow, it's like a cutscene every I don't remember uh, exactly out. when the forces from the west occupied my town. I was too busy scanning the skies day after day, waiting for Yellow 13 to reappear. It's impossible not to hear uh, everything changed. The language they taught us at school. And you hear that. Um, Our friendly local sheriff disappeared and was replaced by foreign MPs. In the beginning, some people secretly tuned into broadcasts from North Point on their parabolic antennas. But as time passed, the broadcast no longer came in. Maybe the satellites were destroyed. It's like the saddest. All non-military computer Man. networks were shut down. Gasoline was rationed to civilians. I ran out of coffee. Though we lived in the 21st century, we were reduced to using crystal radios. 
and horse-drawn carts. <laughs> I moved in with my uncle in town, who used to be a taxi driver. Out of gasoline and out of work, yeah, what's the crystal radio? my uncle did nothing but to drown himself in drink. I earned my keep by playing the harmonica in the town bar. Is this kid gonna like grow the up to be like your your nemesis, like your? Uh... I'd play for sullen occupation soldiers in exchange for their charity and loose change, and use the money to support my uncle and myself. My uncle trash talked the barkeep who catered to the enemy soldiers, but he never refused the money I brought home. As for myself. I had a crush on the barkeep's only daughter, who was a little older than me. I wonder who did the um, paintings here. Another day passed, yet still no sign of the fighter plane Yellow 13 in the skies above our town. A bad game. <laughs> Even these menus kind of look like Metal Gear Solid. Uh, okay. Imminent threat. The enemy held Wrigley Air Base is located in close proximity to our front lines, making it the proverbial knife at our throat. A large illusion bomber contingent was deployed to Wrigley. Their intentions are clear. A full-scale strike on our forces at North Point is imminent. Your mission is to catch these bombers on the ground and destroy them. We intend to turn the parking ramp at Wrigley into a junkyard. A bombing mission. Okay. Um, could I buy things? Oh, I don't have enough money still. Uh, yeah, I don't. I'm gonna say, Court, I'm noticing a pattern. I feel like 3 started with that as well, but I could be wrong. Oh boy. Going into space. <laughs> oh jeez. Okay. Well, this should be an easy bombing run. Wait, where's my target though? Oh, I don't know where the targets are. So you kind of like throw the bombs. <laughs> Whoa. 
Oh boy. Yeah, the court is just funny that they don't really uh, obey physics at all. <laughs> oh, am I just out of bombs now? Oh, whoops, okay. Left, right, and then down is that. But there doesn't seem to be like a clear one. So many TGTs. Oh, why I'm not like locking on there. Oh, it's indent the stick. Which I guess the PS2 had indenting, did it? I don't really recall. I think it did. Didn't it? Oh yeah, I just don't know how to target things. Um, I'm actually going to leave it on this while I uh, take a very quick break. So I'll be right back. I'll leave it on Toby, but he's going to get up the second I move. Oh, wait, that won't work. Hold on.
Okay, apologies for that. Longer break than I thought I was going to take, but I made myself a gin and tonic. A, success. So. a significant everybody. number of enemy bombers were eliminated. Okay, who are we blowing up next? One night, a oh, right, sad guy. The way the door, chased out the sullen army grunts, and commandeered the place. Even I knew who they were. The patch on their sleeve was the mark of the proud Air Force. A loud-mouthed, middle-aged man went around, announcing each pilot's results for the day and his running kill record. For those who exceeded five kills, a thorough toasting and soaking followed. I believe it was their custom to call a pilot an ace once he shot down five planes. After completing the day's review, the same guy, the squadron agent, went on to announce, and now, for our leader's results. Everyone turned around to look at the quiet man who sat alone, <laughs> strumming a guitar. I found myself drawn to the music from his guitar. I have... Our yellow 13 bagged three more today, bringing his new tally up to 64 kills. Just the most melodramatic fighter man. I, I love it. With a it. tentative smile, the man with the guitar turned to me and asked me to accompany him on my harmonica. I brought it up to my lips and I started a new song. I had finally found him. I mean, I gotta say, I really like the. Um... But by some fluke, it was my father's favorite song. The one he used to play at the end of each day. I like the direction on this on these cutscenes. Like I like the use of uh, stills. It actually works pretty well. Um. <laughs> oh my god! And that's how uh, Goose and Maverick met. <laughs> Yeah, I want all of Top Gun retold in that tone. <laughs> the Allied forces are retreating, and survivors are gathering at the northern port of St. Ark. However, the radar facilities atop Mount Shesna provide tactical support to Shesna. As a result, our evac mission is in jeopardy. If our troops can successfully evacuate and regroup at North Point, they will become a formidable force in future battles. Your mission is to destroy the radar facilities on Mount Shesna. They're Got it. Um, let's see if I can buy that new thing. Wait, what? Oh, wait, I have two different combat areas now. Um, I don't know what the difference is. Let's pick that one. Uh, yeah. Cool. Actually, should I see if I can buy... Maybe I need to buy, like, some new weapons. Um, a five. Uh, rocket launcher. Can't afford it. Okay. Oh, okay, Cord. Yeah, I was confused about that. TGT? I think so. I think that's a friend. It doesn't say friend. That's gotta be it. Uh, oh, yeah. Droid. Um, 
Maybe we need to run like a an ace combat uh, one shot on the uh, on the Discord. I wanna I wanna um, I want my first D experience to be role playing a, a sad fireman. There are things that aren't enemies or that aren't places. Okay, okay, of course. That's probably good to know. I'm probably I'm, I would probably just destroy everything if uh, left to my own devices. Um, I really need to figure out how to cycle targets though. It doesn't seem to be working. Wait, so these are not enemies? That's a kill. <laughs> and they're pretty excited about it. I'm, I'm hoping those are enemies. Uh, Your worst enemy is the ground. Be careful not to get shot down. Oh, I see. Okay. Um. Don't let the enemies fool you. No. Oh, I think. I think a D-pad is the. Target cycling like rating. Three, two, zero. Pickle! Obvious one destroyed the target. My worst enemy is definitely the ground, although not for the reason that they imply. Uh, more so that I will dive into the ground uh, stupidly, most likely, at some point here. Die, you SOB! Jeez. Settle down, buddy. It's just a radar dish. <laughs> I'm excited to play uh, the new one of these. I feel like people enjoy that one a lot. Uh, whoa. Um, it's got VR, right? I like that Cord is forcing me to do the thing um, that I would probably force somebody to do, which is like, if you enjoy a series of something, you don't get to just play the new one. You have to go back and appreciate the evolution of it. Um, which, like, left, again, like, you know, just on your own, you would not, uh, you would probably never do that. But um, this is like, uh, Cord just being my big brother right now. Um, and saying no, no, no. Uh, Tycho, I have, I have uh, Super Nero, Super, Super Nero, Super Nero, my favorite uh, Roman ever. Um, no, uh, Super Hero and I played a bit. Um, I have feelings about it. Uh, I should probably give another shot though. Oh God! Oh, someone's shooting at me finally. On the afterburner. They improve the joystick controls. Okay. Um. Yeah. I I should I should play some more. Of it. Honestly, like, Apex has kind of ruined me on multiplayer games that don't allow for, like, really precise collaboration uh, with minimal voice. Like, the fact that you can play an Apex round with random people and just ping and it works. Um, I know that there are pings in that game, but it's just not a game in, in Squadrons, but it's just not a game that's, like, really built for that kind of thing because it's so fast. Um. Right behind him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, and I actually think that, yeah, I think it's totally probably the way to go. Mm. 
Yeah. I don't know. I think honestly, it's just my 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 issue with that game is is down to well, there are several things, but I think the main thing is just aesthetics. Like I like a five on five just doesn't feel right to me. Uh, I just feel like it should be bigger. Uh, yeah, Cord, I can figure that out. We're going to those TGTs. Um, oh, oh. Oh, some of these flashing things, it's like a little... Let's see. Yeah, Superhero, I get that, like, they were trying to do, like, a class thing and everything, but, like... Oh, I'm out of, uh, I'm out of bombs. I don't know. I, I will give it another shot if, um, if, uh, if I get that stupid graphics card. I mean, honestly, for me, it just feels too simple. Like, I I don't really... The fact that everything is just like, there's the capital ship, and then there are fighters, and that's every single map. Or sometimes there isn't the capital ship or whatever. Like, it just... I just kind of want more stuff to do. Um, oh, congrats, Sully. Sky Eye here. Radar facilities confirmed destroyed. All aircraft take vector 180 south. Uh, oh, okay. Use the return line on the map to exit combat area and return to base. Fly in the right direction and you'll see a white dotted line across your flight path. You feel like go to the touchdown to zone <laughs> of the football field? All right, sure. should cross this line to exit the combat area and return to base or carrier. Approaching return line. Follow the controller's orders for landing. Uh, well, you don't have to wonder about that, Ayod. I mean, they did it in Battlefront, uh, in Battlefront 2. Um, I mean, it, it, I guess it was probably, what, 24 on 24? Or maybe it was 12, 12, 12 was the check. only, that was the you max. Cleared to land. I guess you're thinking more like 32, Two 32. Miles but, to touch down. I mean, it's pretty chaotic, but like... Oh. Oh, I'm landing. One mile to touch down. I wonder how precise you have to be with this. Slow down. Speed's too high. Whoop. Not that precise, as it turns out. <laughs> Nicely done, Mobius One. Go and prepare for your next sortie. Yeah, I mean, I feel like the Battlefront space combat was was pretty chaotic when you've got everything going on in there, but... Um... I don't know, you know, you know what's funny is like, I don't know that I've ever really enjoyed multiplayer flight sim combat. It's just never, I guess Microsoft Alli uh, Alliance, or Alli Allegiance rather, like the only time I've ever liked it. Um, I played X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter exclusively as a single player game. Um, so. <laughs> Good superhero. I, I really do think that if I could somehow rally the internet into a full allegiance match, like if we could as a Discord just kind of like learn that game like quietly and then somehow like pull in a ton of people to like make that a thing 
please. It would probably make me very happy. Maybe for my birthday, that's what I want. Because I can't have a real birthday party as usual. But uh, maybe what I want is like Microsoft Allegiance party. <laughs> that's actually in, in, in a month, exactly a month from now is my birthday. We so discovered the erosion maybe, that's, maybe that's what I want. Of strategic supplies and um, deployment troops into Converse Harbor. Converse appears to be the staging area. For yeah, I don't know. North Point. I don't know. I mean, honestly, like station here seems to be the centerpiece of this strike. I like if the I like complete their uh, operations and the Aegir fleet set sail. This will bring about our defeat in this war. Sorry, I'm talking over the video now, but I'm having a gin and tonic. So the enemy transport planes in and around Converse Harbor. Let's show them how vulnerable they are. Well, superhero, <laughs> I think I've explained this many times at this point, but that's why my name is Nick, because of St. Nick. I was due on Christmas, and then I missed it by three days because I procrastinate always. Um, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's a true story. Um, anyway, uh, so I, I'm Santa. <laughs> um, anyway, what was I going to say? Yeah, I don't know. F flight combat stuff, I enjoy in... I mean, honestly, Ace Combat stuff is, is kind of... I don't, I don't know what else you do. Like, I guess Squadrons did the drifting, and that's kind of like the one thing that's like a little different. But like, generally speaking, you just kind of hold in a direction, and it's just who lines up the shot better. I just get sort of bored with it. And the thing that makes it interesting to me on a single player level is just like, you know, just different missions and like different variables and things like playing through like an X-Wing game, you know, they're just throwing all these different uh, ships and things at you and like, but like as just like a pure like combat challenge, I just find it to be really repetitive. So I, I don't know. Like, I think Ace Combat actually is probably uh, doing what I think a Top Gun uh, video game ought to do, which is just, like, just have it be as wacky as possible. <laughs> just, just throw a bunch of stuff at the player and, like, make them do, do wacky stuff. Uh, okay, I can buy this rocket launcher now. I mean, I love that you love that game so much, Superhero. I, it actually... Oh no, I didn't pick the right one. Oh. Anyway. Um, no rockets. Um, I'll try it one more time. I mean, I do like a dumb Star Wars game. That's the thing. That's, I'm, I'm sort of bummed that I didn't take to it. But... Yeah, I, I, I enjoy the fact that uh, the people are enjoying squadrons. I just uh, wish I could. I wish I could get into it. Honestly, I think the flight model is a little sluggish for me, just in general. I think that may actually be the real reason why I'm not as into it as I could be. It's just, it's so, it just feels like you're driving like a Buick in space. And I get why, <laughs> but it's just, it's just very, it's just very un-Star Wars-y to me. 
But as we've already covered, I have a lot of like strong slash archaic opinions about Star Wars, so that's that's probably just my brain ruining things for me. Uh, yeah, I'm flying 600. I don't know what the <laughs> I don't know what the metric is at all. I imagine it's uh, you know, it's probably knots. It's probably 600 knots. The radar still jammed. Must be another active electronic jammer. This makes things feel slower. It's more the turning Tycho uh, that's sluggish. Um, it's more sluggish than the X-Wing games, which is surprising to me. Because Battlefront was just like, no, it's like the snappiest thing in the world. Um, it's, it's just like, when you turn in, battle, in the Battlefront space combat, oh no, I ran into that plane. Um, when you're turning in, uh, in a Battlefront space combat thing, they're basically just making it feel like the movie is like, you can dart in the same way that you could in the In, uh, in Squadrons, it's like, no, we're going to make you do everything really deliberately because that will, you know, I guess increase the, the skill threshold to some degree, but... Yeah, I think I think part of it's the power management, but again, I really think it's more sluggish than the original X-wing Tie Fighter game. So I I don't I don't really understand that choice personally. Um, but I don't know. I'm turning into just a Star Wars curmudgeon in general. <laughs> So, I'm sure that's just got something to do with it, subconsciously, or not subconsciously at all. Uh, Two targets remaining. Good job, Mobius One. Oh god, that that making of uh, Empire book was so good. Fox though. Two, Fox Two. Mobius One, shot one down. I'm spiked. Get him off me. <laughs> Let's not talk about a cord. Mobius One, Fox Two. <laughs> Uh, I'm just generally an old man. <laughs> I just, I, I'm not a big Dave Filoni fan. Let's put it that way. Um, I will say this. Uh, I highly recommend if you have Disney Plus to watch the. Um, I forget what they call it. It's like the gallery or something. It's the behind the scenes of The Mandalorian. And the, the fourth episode of it is all about the volume, which is their like digital stage. It's, I mean, I, I already knew like how it worked essentially, but watching the 30 minutes on it was kind of fascinating. I mean, it really is uh, almost certainly the beginning of the end of what like, film sets. Uh, traditional film sets. Um, I would take the time to watch that if you have the ability to watch it. <laughs> uh, and chicks, uh, yeah, I definitely, uh, I definitely am still gonna do that. It's just a question of what night. Are we the right night? Yeah, I mean, it's it's using Unreal. Um, the thing that's absolutely wild about it is that the camera uh, is changing the perspective of the um, L, you know, LED projection on the fly. And so I hadn't seen footage of this, but it's in that, in that documentary. Um, there are just moments where they show like people moving the camera, and then suddenly this massive wall projection is uh, just changing the uh, parallax um, on the fly. It's absolutely wild. Um, 
Yeah, I know. See, we're in this camp where people either like Rogue One and The Mandalorian or the other stuff, and I am like firmly in the other stuff camp. I really don't like either of those other things, so it's best that we don't talk about it, but um, <laughs> I, I recognize that I'm a dying breed at this point because we are fully in uh, Baby Yoda territory. But I'm, I have, yeah, very strong opinions Locked about this stuff. Fox two, Fox two. Fox two. Which is silly, but I definitely, uh, <laughs> definitely do. I really don't like Rogue One, I, I, I gotta say. I think that, honestly, you can boil my distaste for a lot of modern uh, ancillary Star Wars content down to that, like, Darth Vader scene in Rogue One, where, like, there are people who think that's the coolest shit in the world, and then there's me who just thinks it's, like, absolute something. Uh, and I think there are just two camps, and that's just where I'm at. But... I don't know where I'm, is there like more? Oh, there's like one, oh, there are two things I need to do. Uh, where is it though? Oh, it's like way up in the air. Oh, like a plane game where you shoot planes and they're like way up in the air. Yeah, Cord, see that's the Dave Filoni thing and that is like, I mean, hurting lore emojis forever. <laughs> um, I never finished it, no superhero. I, I couldn't do it. I mean, like, no, I think the fan service at this point is not even for the original movies. I think it's for, like, the Clone Wars and the uh, Rebels TV show. And, like, expanded universe books and things that I never really liked outside of the, the Thrawn stuff. Um, but, uh... I guess it means SH Tycho, which like what is that? Yeah, what's what's that standing for? I don't actually, I, I don't know. Oh, Super Hornet! There you go. Shit, <laughs> hot. That's for sure what they're saying to each other, uh, over and over again. <laughs> oh, it is! <laughs> Wait, what?! Oh my god. Wow. Well, you learn something every day, Gord. Uh, no, Lock, no, I apologize, I mentioned this earlier, I just didn't swap in the new version yet. Uh, my bad. In the, in the bustle of Thanksgiving, I forgot to, uh, I forgot to grab the code. Uh, thank you again for, uh, fixing that. Mission is about score, not targets. Okay. Commence operation. Split into two groups and destroy targets. Inflict as much damage as possible to the complex and reduce their output. Don't let the enemy spook you. Are you sure this is smart? Or over the bad guys? Uh, 
Oh, I see. Okay, so we're just going for 2,000 points worth of human lives. Got it. <laughs> Still no joy. I wonder how many points I would be if I was murdered in a, in a game. Oh, do I have to kill this tanker? Or is this my friend? I don't know. Uh, seems like it's not my friend. I hate this tanker. Most people are two to three hundred points. All right. I mean, I would settle for, for being two hundred points. If someone said that I was two hundred points, I wouldn't be offended. It sounds like a lot. Ground boards are cheering me on. Yeah, I guess, I guess they are. Huh? Whoa! What's all this? Oh! Whoa! Um, superhero. Next time you play squadrons, let me know. I will. Uh, I will give another shot. Speaking of Star Wars, I do have an extremely dorky Star Wars thing uh, that I purchased that is coming to my house at some point soon. And uh, when it arrives, I will reveal it so that I can show that I am not above being an extreme Star Wars dork. Um, it's a very particular kind of extreme Star Wars dork. You know, I didn't play Yoda Stories as a kid for it. I think I maybe loaded it up once. I think I even then I, I realized it was not uh, not actually a good game. But I, I, I played it as an adult, which I feel like uh, says something. Enemy facility destroyed. Yes, it's a full Princess Leia costume. Uh, <laughs> Um, Come on, baby. Daddy needs a bullseye. Ugh. No daddy talk, please. I do kind of want to see how what the max altitude is. This is just the first thing I do in any flight sim, uh, and I haven't done it yet in this one. Maybe I should. Uh, oh, okay, we're at like 38,000 feet. That's the max. Oh, you're getting up there here. You can see space. I assume this is feet. Break the uh, the sound barrier in uh, Ace Combat. I want like an anime, like 2D um, special effect when I break the sound barrier. I want like really outrageous entrails and all kinds of uh, wacky garbage.
going Copies down. One, box two. Here's my other Star Wars opinion. <laughs> I, you know what, I talked about this on a stream like two days ago, so that's fine. But honestly, like, I really do feel that uh, John Williams is needed. And playing the modern games that don't use John Williams, I'm, I'm just sad. Um, it's a necessary component for me. I have so many targets. I feel like I could just destroy this oil rig and I would have enough points. Uh-oh. That one guy is so angry. He needs to see a therapist. This very... <laughs> Taking a lot to his work. You know what, superhero? Uh, I'll play Squadron with you. You need to uh, play X Wing versus Tie Fighter with me, though. That's I think that's the uh, the trade. The next trade. I guess I guess you did play Battlefront with me for a second, but I, I feel like um, although I guess if you if you play Microsoft Allegiance, that's more than more than equal. Uh, yeah, I'm not earning a lot of points for bombing this stuff. I guess I should go back to the planes. Oh, they're like very far away from me, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's one. Yeah, not figuring out the um, targeting button has really uh, hamstrung me here. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't actually buy those games if you don't already own them. Own them. They're uh, Enemy facility destroyed. definitely not fully updated for the times. Out of bullets. Box two. I'm out of bullets? Oh boy. Enemy I like that you have destroyed. basically infinite missiles, but you can run out of everything else. Um, So many more points. Uh, okay, that's a plane, I'm guessing. Oh, big miss. Yeah, I don't know that I'm gonna make it here. This, this feels like a fail. Uh, I'm doing a classic hold left dog fighting maneuver on this, uh, on this fighter who's also holding left and turning, and, um, yeah, this isn't gonna happen. <laughs> It's not good enough. Target still operational. Mission failed. All aircraft RTB. Well, what are you gonna do? Um. Well, Cord, uh, you know, I'm extremely well. So, what, what of the of the other Ace Combat games? What what uh, what's next? Am I playing five or am I going to seven at this point? 
I have seven installed. Um, but, uh... Oh, okay, so they're very similar. Okay. Personal data. Um... Oh, six was a 360 exclusive. Oh, weird. Okay. Go to seven next? Okay. Okay, well, I think I have to stop here. Um, I haven't eaten dinner yet, and so that's necessary. Um, but I gotta say, I'm really enjoying the Ace Combat streams. Uh, they're extremely chill. Um, but I do want to... I, I, I kind of want to do seven next, uh, if that's... Uh, that is your will cord because I feel like um, maybe I would just keep playing seven and just play all of it or something. Um, uh, it being the modern one. Um, okay. Well, then I'm gonna put it in the books and say that I'll just like play seven, you know, next week or the week after or something, and I'll I'll just see how far it carries me. Um, Oh, yeah, the Ace Combat alike. Yeah, no, I, I saw people talking about this. What is it? It's like... What's the name of it? It's, uh... Combat World or something. <laughs> it's... It's something... It's something, uh... Somewhat generic, but... Project Wingman, there we go. Yeah, yeah, Um... Alright, well, uh... I'm excited to try 7. I wish I had a VR helmet just to try it, just for fun. Um, God, I really need to figure out VR. Uh, it's so annoying because I just I want like the hundred dollar cheap version where I can just play with it for like a day and then put it down forever. Um, but uh, I will uh, I will definitely play some Ace Combat Seven and see see if I just keep playing it forever. Oh, it's only for PS4. I have PSVR though and a PS4 right over here. Oh, it's only specific missions? Alright, well then never mind. That seems that doesn't seem worth loading up. Although I could then play the Star Wars mission <laughs> that uh, Chris and I wrote. No, that'd be weird. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, this was a fun stream, everybody. Thank you, Core. Thank you, Alpha Bolt. Um, very good, very good picks. Uh, and yeah, Cord, I will uh, I will definitely play a lot of Ace Combat 7. Um, Maybe I'll just pick a day where I can just kind of play like three, four hours of it or something um, as a culmination of all of these uh, Ace Combat streams. Um, oh, the uh, oh, that's not the end stream. That's the yeah, the game should be here, but it's not because of the. Anyway, um, bye everybody. <laughs> I need to go eat. I before the stream started. I went on like the hardest bike ride I've I've done yet, and then uh, had a gin and tonic, and I really need some more calories in me, um, ASAP. So uh, anyway, I hope you have a great weekend, everyone. I'm gonna play some Phasmophobia tomorrow for multiplayer Saturday, and um, it's a new prison mission or something, so that'll be fun. Um, and potato, I know. Honestly, I did, you don't know how many times a day I, I open up the Minecraft channel on Discord and go like, oh god, I need to set aside some time to play some Minecraft. Uh, I, will, I will be doing that soon as well. Um, I'm on break basically for the month of December. I have very little that I need to do, so uh, I will be Minecrafting and other, you know, doing other crafting in general. Um, anyway, uh, take care everybody. Um, I will see you tomorrow for Phasmophobia, and um, stay safe. I'll see you later. Bye.
hour two and a half, and I think we're on world record pace. Not everyone runs this category. Um, oh! Hi, my name's Nick Brecken. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, wow, I've never clicked this button. Yeah, I'm Luke Skywalker, yeah, yeah. No! I am a game developer, occasional podcaster. Get over the door, you coward! I stream uh, almost daily on this channel now called Idle Thumbs. No! We have a really good community. Oh, oh no! Please join us for, um... Nope, nope. Oh my God, I'm alive. <laughs> The hoisting? Join us for the madness. Oh no, the engine's too big. <laughs> Join us for the hubris. What I need to do is stand on the roof of this Jeep and fire a rocket propelled grenade. Oh no, no! <laughs> I occasionally stream with my girlfriend Janelle. I live on the edge. No. I live on the edge. No, you don't. <laughs> Sorry, I occasionally stream with my partner Janelle. Oh, what? Oh, Toby. And my wonderful dog, uh, Toby, who you may see. Oh my God, Toby. <gasps> Toby, get out of there. Uh, th this part's not gonna be used. Ready for the knowledge. <laughs> Hi, this is how you take pictures. You take a lot of pictures and then you select the one good one, right? Isn't that how you take pictures? That's how. Ah, you piece of shit! You did it! <laughs> <laughs> that was way too big. I don't like being that big. I, I like, I don't, this is, this is a much better size for my face. <laughs> this should be censored. <laughs>